Hello my beautiful people, it is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing week. I hope you enjoyed the resin coaster video. I can now hold them and show you a little bit of a better view. I was just so excited to get the video out that it um, was still a little bit tacky when I pulled these out. This one is amazing. I think it's turned out pretty cute and I love that green with that um, fruity pebble glitter in there. That is amazing. And these are kind of cool. They're not a traditional flower, but then again, it's abstract, my friends. Cool. And I love how the tray turned out. That is just amazing. So today we are going to get into another bling bling. It is Sunday, my friends. So we are going to play around with some glass, some glitter. We're going to go, we're doing basics again. We're going to do some glass, some glitter. I am going to put some of these amazing beads that I found. I'm going to get those little wee C beads as well, the black ones. And we're just going to do a basic, I haven't decided what color yet. It's going to be black or it might be white, silver, or gold. You'll find out when I get my working clothes on. So anyways, go grab yourself a cup of coffee. Go get yourself a tea, a drink, whatever you want, a nice snack. And again, I apologize. It is a little later today. Life bit me this week. I worked five days this week, so life bit me. So anyways, so I'm going to get my working clothes on and we're going to get right into this. I'll see you guys in a couple seconds. Hello, got me working clothes on and we are ready to go. So this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. It is the basic ones for Michael's, the value pack. I have it push pinned. I have it taped. And we are good to go. So today I'm deciding we're just going to play around. I've done a video. I'll link it. I think I did two of them where I put pearls down the center along with the glass and the glitter. So today we're going to use these faceted beads. And faceted is just basically, I hope I remember correctly, is just the shape of the bead which gives it that um, shiny look. So these are the beads we're going to put in. Okay. So, and we're going to probably put a little bit of those sea beads that we used in the flowers from last time. I have these, the little wee ones, and they all have holes in them. So that's it, which is completely fine. And I also have these, which we might throw in. These are gold beads that I found from the dollar store and glass. And I've got some of Laura's glitters. I also thought maybe we could add some of this. This is the dollar store um, gold rocks. And yeah, so we're going to get back down to basics again. We're going to play around today. I am going to paint the canvas half black, half parchment from Artist Loft. And we're going to streak in some of this metallic gold, 24 karat gold. And I have a feeling that we are going to color our liquid glass. So it'll be like molten goop, my name, molten lava rock gold. I can't speak today. I've only had, I've only had one of these big cups of coffee. <laughs> All right, here we go. We are just going to slap some paint on here. Ugh. And I'm thinking, actually, we'll start with the light one first. Let me see. I've got a few of these. I want to make sure I have one that's open instead of opening up another new one. And again, this one is parchment from Artist Loft. And I'm just getting it on there. We are just going to use one of these chip brushes. I'm just going to wet it a little bit, dampen it off. And here we go. I figured um, I tried using that gold and it was horrible to cover. So in my pea-sized little brain, 
I figured that I would um, try it this way. Do a coat of this paint. I'm just going to try to eyeball halfway. If you want to be very specific and to the point, you may get out the ruler and take a peek. Because we're covering it up anyways, right? So it's just a matter of just a guideline. Crisscross the brush so that it gets into the canvas. Actually, I'm going to turn off. I got my heater going again. I always forget and it dries out everything really fast. There we go. Get the edges while we're going. And that was the right amount of paint. Here, let me get this. Yeah, we're just going to do the edges. So you guys better stick with me this week. We have some big news. I'm excited. Some big news. Hopefully I'll be able to share it with you on Wednesday. I'm just trying to finalize all my little, get my ducks in a row before I start. I was gonna be, it was gonna be today's video, but I was like, oh no, I have to make sure I do it right because I want to do it right. And have all my ducks in a row. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm gonna pull out this is the metallic gold from, oh my goodness. My lid is um, painted shut. If all else fails, oh my goodness. There we go. Where there's a will, there will be a way. All right. So I'm just gonna get myself a stir popsicle stick and oops, get rid of that give it a stir start with because it's been there for a while not being used and I'm just going to slap down some paint and we're just going to blend it in hopefully it's not too dry Let's see what we can make here. Oh, that looks pretty. I might put one more little bit in, in this area. Can get it in there. There. And just blend the crap out of it. <laughs> you want a hint of it. You just don't want it to be in your face. So that looks pretty good, I think. Okay, you get that effect. Now we're going to do the black side. I'm just going to brush this off and I am not even going to clean the brush. We are being bad because I'm going to think I might try to blend a little bit of the gold in this one as well. So I'm just going to go like this. This paint covers really good, so I'm not going to put a whole lot on there. I know I splashed a little bit. I'm going to let it dry because if I touch it, it will make a mess like it just did there. So we can strategically place something in those little spots, guys. Nothing is ever, almost, almost everything can be fixed. That's the fun part with doing crafts. You can, the good, the bad, the ugly. Mm -hmm. 
go a little slower so I'm not going to throw the paint over there because I don't want it over there. Just get as close as you can. How many of you people is that driving up the wall? That little black spot there. Because <laughs> I know. Uh, I know there's probably a few people telling me to move it. side try to match the edging just so that it's and you can always put some glass glitter on the sides there we go perfect and I'm just gonna like I said this is getting covered so it's just a basic just a line to try to give you a guideline where to put your glass and glitter. <laughs> Shh! No one will know. I'm just going to take my finger and put some of that beige on the edge because it's not matching right there. Can you see that? Uh, there's a little, there's a way. And just... Look, perfect. Now, I'm going to let this... Oh, no, we're going to come in with some gold. What am I doing? I'm forgetting what I'm telling you. You know, I'll be 55 this year, so I'm getting old and forgetful. All right. Well, let's see if this will work. Try this and then we'll see. And when you're doing this, you want to make sure you, when you get your final result, you want to come down straight so that your lines aren't wiggly. I might throw some more in this side here. Get on there. I can't put that back in there. Now it's got black on it. There we go. Keep wanting to put more. It's blended a bit much. That looks good there. Oh, there we go. I wanted some more there and I accidentally put it there. Perfect. So that's going to go and I'm going to wash that brush. We are done with the painting portion of this video. I'm going to wipe off my jar so that I can open it the next time without a fight. Oh. There we go. And I'm going to take my blow dryer out. I'm going to blow dry this, get it dry, and I will be back. And we will be possibly adding oh, some of this paint to the, um, the Tri Art Liquid Glass. So I'll be back in a few minutes, guys, when this is dry. Okay, we are back. This is dry. I love it. You can kind of see the little 
shininess of the gold and the black. Let's see if it, I can see it in the, not as much in the, the beige, but that's all right. Um, make sure I got you in the right spots. So we are using um, Tri Art Liquid Glass. I'm just trying to find my little jug and I can't find it. Just show you what it looks like, but it is Tri Art Liquid Glass. I will find it and show it to you in a bit. This one is clear. Now with the Tri Art, the liquid glass, you can put paint in it. You can color it. You can use it as a pouring medium. I have videos showing you how to use the Tri Art liquid glass as um, like in a, uh, sorry, my brain fried, um, just different um, flip cups. And it, it's actually quite cool. So I have a little cup here. I've got my gold. This is the one we used in the um, painting. I'm going to take a a good scoop. Oh, I shouldn't, you know me and I shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna do this just so you guys can see what I'm doing. I wanna put a good scoop in there. Same with resin, you don't want more than 10%. In my pea size brain, I thought this would look like liquid glass or gold. Look at that. So that, so it won't dry shiny, but it will dry gold. So I'm excited to see what it looks like because I haven't, I did it with, um, I'm not sure if I actually did it with my um, bling blings with the um, colored, but I did do it with putting a glitter in it. So now I'm taking one of these containers with the squeezy lid and so I do not make a mess. I'm going to do it over here, which you probably still can see. I'm going to put it in there so we can. Pour it on there. I was trying to use up the big jug that I had left. Um, the one I had was three years old. I'm going to pour, I got a little bit left here. I'm going to pour more in here so I can possibly fill up that little jar. I'm not going to put any more paint. I'm just going to Mix it in with what's there and then shake it up good and that should be good. There you go. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. Oh, I could actually probably, no, I'm not even going to. I say I could actually, actually, I think I might. I'm going to put a little bit of glitter in it. My name is Sherry. I am an addict. And I think all of my loyal followers know that. I'm just going to put a little bit. This is, I was calling it Hemingway, but I, apparently it's Henway. I, I'm going to double check. I will purposely link it properly. I'm just putting a scoop. Two. Three. And I don't mean scoops because it's like a flat piece. It's just... Oh, can you see it? There's that. And then can you see the difference with the glitter? So I'm going to pour this in. We're going to give it a shake, shake, shake. And we're still putting glitter on top. We're not going to not put glitter. And this, you can treat it just like your... Um, Dutch pour mix. Leave it in the bottle if you've got it colored and it should be good. Give it a good shake. I'm just going to scrape off my stir stick hopefully in there and we're going to it's funny you can not quite see the line but you can see where the glitter part is here and this is the other one. So I'm going to give it a good shake. Hopefully it'll 
Mix it up. Oh my goodness, look, can you see? <laughs> so we're gonna get the glitter first anyway, so that's good. Alrighty, so we're gonna lay down our base of Tri Art Liquid Glass. And that is really bothering me that I can't find my um, my little jug to show you what it looks like. <coughs> I will find it by the end of the video and show you. <clears throat> All right. I'm just going straight down. We're not doing anything funky dunky because we're doing it all funky dunky with the um, <laughs> the toppings on the cake, right? Here we go. Squeeze, nice thick coat in the middle. Cover up that line. And it's actually good because where if you didn't have, see there's like a millisecond, little milliliter, whatever, just a very faint line where there's no, um, paint and you could use that with the color I'm going to try to get my line first and then come and do my zigzags and I'm going to try to do the silver zigs where there's not that nice gold I want to get all of the the glittery in the one spot, if that's the case, if it's not going to mix. There we go. Perfect. All right, now let's do this side first. Cover up where I made mistakes, right? Look at that, that looks so pretty just on its own. Oh my goodness. I'll try and widen this out a bit. And you've seen how easy it was. I can mix more up if I need be. Trying to those little black dots. This is where you pick it up, see? Clean it up. Oh, today's feel so bad because it is Sunday right now when I'm doing this. So I um, have a surgeon's appointment on, oh, I think it's Wednesday, for this hand and it might be getting, I'm not sure, he might do the surgery right then and there. So we will find out. It's a trigger finger again. It dripped on the side, and you know what? I'm not mad because it's colored. I'm just placing a little bit strategically. Okay, here we go. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to go on an angle, guys. I'm just doing this so I can do it straight. I'm trying to keep it the same about here. I'm 
I'm just trying to even it out so that 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 thick part is equal all the way across and then I'll bring back down some long ones and some That's good. Look at that. Look at that. That looks good just on its own. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do the goal, even though it's black. And this one, you don't have to go as deep, if that makes any sense at all, because. Um, it's it's quite deep here, right? So you can. I'm just gonna. Oh. And this apparently is my good hand, the one that's sore today. I'm just gonna try and bring it in. Don't worry, it'll it'll level itself out. If you see these little gaps that I'm leaving. I think that's good. Just try to tap those in. Because we want those to be kind of solid. I enjoy using the squirt bottle. You guys can do whatever you want. Um, I think that's good. We are good. Okay, now I'm going to start. See, there's pretty gold here. I'm just going to jag it down to just before it and then round and then come all the way down where there is no gold. And you want to keep it straight. So I may be turning it again, just so that it's going to stay straight for me, my lines. Sorry if I've already said this, but instead of using the Triart liquid glass, you can also use Mod Podge. I personally have not had success with it, but other people have. So it's all up to you. There we go. I think that's good. <clears throat> I originally used resin, which I probably still would today if I didn't uh, come across this liquid glass because it does the exact same thing. It adheres just as hard as the resin. It is not going to fall off. Um, pretty good. I think that's good. It's going to get covered. I'm not too worried. What do you think, guys? I think that looks good. I'm tilt it up so you can see it. There's a lot in that middle, so that's good. Now, the fun part. Let me just wipe off the end of that so it doesn't get stuck in there. I think I might mix up some more gold, the rest of that, <clears throat> and put it in there, and we can do that again another time. I think that's cool. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, I'm gonna put my broken glass. This is the Ashland. I've got one that's not open. This is the Ashland Decorative Filler, and it's gold. <clears throat> and I'm just going to put that down the center and put a couple down the... I personally like this, this gold be, 
because oh it's this way this way i need to come because it is um chunky which i like that i'm not going to go overly crazy because we want to put some beads and with it being gold back in there guys you don't need to go overly crazy with it I just want to get a couple of bigger pieces on this side too because there's a couple there perfect bring a couple down in here and again don't forget we're going to be putting some beads We can always come back with more of these if we want. But we're going to start off light-handedly. Oh, that's going to be good. Just going to come and bring it down just in the beginning of these. Did I say I was going to go light-handed here? What did I say? Famous last words? Okay, so that's with that. Now we're going to come with these bigger... <clears throat> these are... I bought these at Michael's. They're bead, bead landing, and they are 8 millimeter beads. So when you put them in here... Actually, let me just put them in a cup so it'll be easier for me to... And that way I'm not throwing them where I don't want them. Just when you do it, mindful of the hole. Put the hole so that it's either going this way. All right, and we're just going to place them in there. And actually, really, you don't need to be mindful of the holes. push these guys down because you don't want them to come off because you're strategically kind of putting them there and stand back and look put another one here maybe <clears throat> there and then we'll put a couple I don't want to go crazy with these big ones on the bottom because I think we might just be able to get away with doing the, the little beads. Put one there. Beep. There. Maybe one here. And then the upper part. <clears throat> And I hope some of them might fall off. You never know. But I'll put them where I kind of want them. I think that's good. Maybe we'll do this one right on the bottom. Just because. So that's those ones. Now we've got these little... Oh, I have actually smaller ones. Let me show you. These are my sea bead collection. 
So we have these little black and gold ones. So I'm debating. We'll put some the little ones in. And then we'll do some of the... And guys, I am so sorry. I, as you can see, they're not labeled. I really don't know what size these are, but I'll try and find out. Just a few on the bottom, and then I'm going to come in with some of the gold ones. They're roly-poly, so they don't stay where you... Oh, that was a different whole bead all together. That wouldn't have been good. Okay, so let's try some of the gold ones, see what that looks like. And these are, again, the little wee ones. And then, actually, they might even just get covered, because I'm going to come in with some glitter. I think that's good for that. Would they say less is more? I have issues. <laughs> less is more. Actually, let's do a couple of these bigger ones down the center. Or these are the, the ones I used in the um, my little flowers. And I have it hung on my wall. So I'm going to Maybe, hopefully, at the end of this video, I can show you it on the wall upstairs because it looks really pretty. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I want any of these in there. We'll try a couple down the center. Oh, actually, they're kind of shiny. They look like little nuggets. Just down the center, a little. And these were the dollar store um, gold colored, what do they call them? Metallic glass gravel. So I have to be mindful of what I'm using so that I can put it all on my <laughs> list. Now I'm going to do, oh, I don't know which glitter. That one, no. That one, no, it's too bright. So this one here is from Laura's Art Corner, and it is luscious gold look at that what all right here we go Oh my goodness, Laura. This is gorgeous. I need to put it in a shaker though, so I don't waste, waste it where I don't want it. Now let's put some down here. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is just the icing on the cake for that, I tell you. This one is really pretty. If I told you, Laura, you had me at hello. <laughs> you had me at glitter. All right. I'm not going to use the other one. This is it. This is going to be it, I think, guys. there is a little glitter inside that um, liquid glass there's I know it's gonna be a bad word but I don't want too much glitter <laughs> is there ever such a thing right too much glitter just gonna get some on the side where the liquid glass was dripping over yeah I think that's it, my friends. Oh my goodness, that looks really good. I'm excited to 
see it all unveiled at the end. Now, do I shake a little black? I don't know. No, I'm not going to. I was going to put some of the black glitter, but I'm just leaving it. I made an executive decision. No black glitter. All right. So I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to... Yeah, I don't know. Do I put some of the... Let me see. This has some fine... This is fine um, from the dollar store. It's just called glass beads in a tube. Oh my goodness. How do you open it? So this is just finer glass. So I might put that in there. We're just going to shake this. We'll put this whole little one on there. That's good. I only used half. I thought I would use the whole thing. And then I know, I know, I know, I know. This is the glass shards from Laura's Art Corner. They're clear. The clear glass shards, which I put on top of the flowers. I'm just going to try to sprinkle a little because I think it will give it that little bit of something, something on the ends if it'll stick there. And I'm not putting a lot. I'm just, because I don't know if it's going to st stick with all of the stuff I've already got on there. We'll put it down the center. A little bit there. And again, be careful, guys. It is actual glass shard, so. There. Now I'm done. Step away from the canvas, Sherry. All right, so I'm going to let this dry. It, it's the other thing I like about that Triart liquid glass. It is within about maybe three or four hours. It's good to go. So I'm going to um, come back when it's all ready. And we'll shake, shake, shake. And we'll be in, hopefully in awe because I think it's going to be pretty. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello. We are back. You can tell my son, I'm in the middle of the day. The sun is out. I am going to shake this off. I'm loving how this turned out. Let me just give it a quick shake, shake, shake first. Just tap the back. And look at that. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm going to brush it down into the center. And I'm going to come back this way. And this one, I'm going to brush this way all over me. Add to my glorifying personality. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Try and shake off what I can. There we go. I'm in love with this actually guys. And I'm, I'm not a gold. I'm more of a silver girl. I think this turned out flipping amazing. I love the idea that you've got, I'll bring you in for a really close up, but you've got the depth in here with the different, just the different golds. It is gorgeous. I love the, that luscious gold, which was it called? Yeah, that is gorgeous. 
Some of the glass shards stayed on there. Amazing. All right, I'm going to put you on pause, bring you down so I don't make you seasick, and we'll get a closer look at this, and I will put it on to my stand behind me. I'll see you guys in a minute. Look, there's not much that shook off. That is pretty impressive. Here we go, guys. I am in love with this one. I'm not really, again, not a really gold girl. I think it turned out amazing. And you can have it this way, or you can have it this way. Whichever way you want to do it. Now let's get in here and look at this. This is stunning. I don't know if it's coming across, but the different layers in that gold is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Love it. So there you go, my guys. Hope you have an amazing Sunday. Hope you enjoyed today's video. <clears throat> if you um, have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing and hit that thumbs up. If you like the video, give it a share and hit that bell up there somewhere for notifications when I put up my next video. And with that in my description box, I will have the link to everything I used here today. Also, I have the links to my Amazon shops, which I'm an affiliate. I also have the links to where to purchase crystal resin. Also have the links to where to purchase fundy molds with a discount code. Also where to purchase um, Let's Resin with a discount code with um, Sherry M, capital S, capital M, 10. And also I have the links to <clears throat> where to purchase the Tri-Art Liquid Glass, which we used here today. Also, I have the uh, links to my two amazing Lares distributors, my Canadian one, uh, Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. My discount code for Michelle is Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. The amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my American Lares distributor, and my Glitter Guru, which I got the glitters from today. Um, my discount code for Laura is all capital letters, Sherry Molten 10. And with that, my PayPal link is in there if you choose to um, help support the channel. And also, don't forget, this week I am got a huge surprise, so stay tuned. Hopefully it'll be on Wednesday. And with that, my friends, I'll hope I'm going to show you last, not last week, the week before, the four flowers. I have it on my wall, so I'm going to give you a little snippet at the end, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye. So here's the flowers on the wall. Very pretty. I think it turned out nice up there. There you go. Bye, guys.